Hello and welcome to the North Star Controller Analytics Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After completing this learning byte, you will be able to discuss North Star Controller analytic capabilities. The North Star Controller has the ability to gather telemetry data from network elements that make up your WAN. The data can be learned a couple different ways. If they're Junos platforms, Junos provides a Junos telemetry interface that can be configured to stream data toward the North Star controller where it can be collected and analyzed. If the device, if you're in a mixed environment and, or, or the devices don't support the Junos telemetry interface, you can configure the North Star controller to periodically pull the network using SNMP and gather similar, similar network telemetry data and store it and gather it for analysis. What seems to be a very popular concept these days is the idea of a network becoming a living, breathing thing. And, and so what, do we, what can we do with the telemetry data that we gather? Can we take action based on the, the, the gathered data and based on network performance? The North Star controller has the ability to provision, re-signal label switch paths forwarding through the network based on network telemetry data that receives packet loss thresholds, link utilization thresholds, increases in link delay. Those types of, that type of data can be analyzed and, and, and used by the North Star controller to reprovision the forwarding paths of label switch paths across your WAN so you continue to meet your customer service level agreements. This analytical data that's gathered is this telemetry data that's gathered is available and visible in multiple locations inside of the web interface. And that's one of the things I'd like to demonstrate to you in this learning byte is what type of data is gathered and how can it be viewed. To analyze and to demonstrate this concept, I have a, a lab network where I, where I have several routers set up and connected. I have a VMX1 node. The node on the far left side of this diagram is an MPLS ingress router as is the VMX2 on the other side of the diagram. So there are two label switch paths that have been established, one from VMX1 to VMX2, and another label switch path from VMX2 to VMX1. And to generate data, I've simply generated, I have some ping traffic with very large, very rapid you know, ping packets traversing these label switch paths. And that traffic will generate telemetry data and the VMX nodes have been configured to stream that data back towards the North Star controller. And that's where we're going to be able to view and analyze that. I have a console connection into the North Star controller application. And as part of the installation process, analytics components can be included. Once the analytics components are installed, they listen on three UDP ports. This is the output of a netstat command where the bottom three ports, the last three are the ones we're, we're kind of interested in for this learning byte. When the analytics components of the North Star controller is installed, it begins to listen. There's a log stash component that begins to listen on three different UDP ports. The North Star controller analytics will listen on UDP port 2000 to receive physical interface telemetry data, UDP port 2001 for logical interface telemetry data, and it also listens on UDP port 2002 for LSP, label switch path, telemetry data that's streamed from the Junos telemetry interface capable nodes back to the North Star controller where it can be stored and analyzed, right? So there's the ports. You can see the data. I have some TCP dump commands. You can see the data streaming back, right? This is physical interface data coming back from the nodes that make up the our lab diagram or our lab environment. There's here's logical interface statistical information coming back to UDP port 2001. And there's also some LSP statistics being streamed from the VMX1 and VMX2 nodes back to the North Star controller. And so I can see that I'm actually receiving telemetry data. Now it's not very fun to look at it, you know, kind of in the CLI, but I just want you to kind of get a feel for the Junos devices, the Junos platforms are capable of streaming this data back to the North Star controller in a live, real-time fashion. Now I'm going to connect to the North Star GUI interface and we'll view how that data is presented to you as an administrator. All right, this is the North Star controller administrative interface and you'll see a little topology map here and this matches with the little diagram I showed you back when we were looking at the slides. 
I, I have my VMX1 node on the left-hand side, my VMX2 nodes, uh, node, excuse me, on the, on the right-hand side. And there's two, I'm on the tunnel tab in the North Star Controller Network Info pane. And I have two label switch paths, one from VMX2 to VMX1 and, and another tunnel in, 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 a, in the reverse direction from VMX1 to VMX2. And remember, I generated some ping traffic you know, in, in, in each direction. And, and so traffic's flowing across these tunnels. You saw that the North Star controller seems to be receiving some type of telemetry data about that. So how do I view this, right? Well, a couple different ways. I can select a particular tunnel. I can right click on it and I can say view LSP traffic. And it opens up another tab in the, the network info pane where I can focus specifically on you know, the amount of traffic. Now, again, this isn't gigabits of traffic here. It's just ping traffic. But, but you can see that, you know, here's the collection intervals. This is stream data, so it's very tight collection intervals. It's pretty much real-time, you know, traffic output. I can mouse over and view, you know, the, the amount of traffic in the, in the past hour, in the past day, in the past seven days, or, or configure custom time intervals to view that. I'm also gathering, remember, interface statistics on some other ports. So I can, you know, in the topology map, I can right click on an individual link and say, you know, view interface traffic. And again, the, it, it opens in an additional tab down in the network info pane. And so I can, you know, just get information about how these network components are, are performing. Now, now, the big thing about analytics, remember, is that we can, the North Star controller can make forwarding decisions, resignal the forwarding path of label switch, MPLS label switch paths across your LAN based on the, this telemetry data. And so in the more options menu, there's an administration option where, and there's an analytics option in the menu here. And, and by default, it, there's no action being taken. We can gather the data and analyze it and view it, but the North Star controller doesn't take any action based on your network's performance, but you can enable it to do so. And so you'll specify that, you know, after a certain amount of time, if, if I, have a certain link utilization threshold that has been reached. If I am reaching a certain packet loss threshold on, on, on portions of my network, or I'm, I'm experiencing you know, a link delay increases of a certain percentage, I can actually have the North Star controller signal label switch paths around components in your network that are being, you know, having performance issues is the idea. This is a global setting. This would be for all links, all nodes, all tunnels that are in your network. I'm going to go back to the topology. I, I enable it here and I configure my general parameters. I'm going to go back to the topology map. And in the network info pane, I can click on the link tab. And I can go into the properties, if I'd like, of an individual link. If I would like it to have different analytic uh, characteristics or capabilities, I can modify. Oops, let me select it again. I can modify, I'm having a hard time getting that thing selected, the properties of that link, and you'll see an analytics tab that'll pop up. And so I can override the global values that I set using the more options menu on a link by link basis, right? So let me, let me uh, I just wanted to show you that again, not only can it gather the data, but, but based on the data, it can take action. And, and the action of a North Star controller would be to signal label switch paths around network components that are performing poorly, right? So we saw that I can right click on a tunnel, view tunnel traffic, I can right click on a link, view, view link traffic. Also in the applications menu, you'll see top traffic. There are several different you know, uh, displays. For example, let me see the, the nodes that are producing. There, there's not a million nodes in this little lab network, but I can see the nodes, you know, the top 10 nodes in the past hour. And again, you can click here and change these values. So if you wanted to you know, see a broader range of time, right, or a broader range of nodes in this output on a larger network, they open up as a series of tabs that I can leave open or close down. I'm also generating a traffic delay. I'm having the North Star Controller monitor delay on my network. Now, there's not a whole lot. This is a lab network with not a, a whole lot going on, but I can view you know, interface delay that the North Star Controller has calculated, right? So, so I can use the applications menu to view analytical data. I can also, there's an analytics option here in the menu uh, at the top of the screen. And selecting this opens up a series of widgets where I can, again, you know, select particular links, right, and, and view link traffic, or I can select individual tunnels and view tunnel traffic. So th these widgets are, are designed to kind of display analytical data to you. Another place where I can view analytical data is by clicking the nodes option. 
And it allows me to kind of focus on the nodes and the interfaces and the, and the tunnels that, that they're processing. And so, for example, if I select the VMX1 node in the menu, I can see the, the individual tunnel. And it may be a little bit difficult for you to see, but I can actually see, you know, the traffic in, in bits per second that, that, that's passing. I can select the interfaces tab. You know, I can get, you know, statistical information about, you know, bits per second and delay as traffic flows through the interfaces. So I'm allowed to gather data about my network. The North Star Controller can store it, process it. I can use this analytical tool, the North Star Controller Administrative Interface, to view it, right? And remember, the North Star Controller can also be configured to take action based on performance conditions of your network. In this Learning Byte, we discuss North Star Controller analytic capabilities. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.